Welcome back to Logic 101. I'm William Spaniel. This lecture is on simple sentences. We're going to see a definition and we're going to explore a bunch of examples. So let's start off with that definition. A simple sentence is a sentence without any logical connectives. Now introducing this creates a bit of a paradox because in order to understand simple sentences you need to know what logical connectives are, but in order to work with logical connectives you need to understand what simple sentences are. So hopefully by the end of this unit when you understand what both simple sentences and logical connectives are in isolation, you can then mix them together in the way that it hopefully will make sense. So. To give a little bit of a background into logical connectives, and this is what we're going to be discussing with the majority of this unit, a logical connective consists of one of the following, an AND statement, an OR statement, an IF-THEN statement, or a statement featuring a negation like NOT. So any statement with one of those logical connectives in it is not a simple, a simple sentence, and that sentence can actually be broken down into something simpler until you get to that simple sentence. The other half of simple sentences is that a simple sentence must either be true or false and not both for these to work in a logical environment. So a sentence like, I am happy, could potentially be problematic. You might think that if you're kind of happy and you're kind of sad, then the statement, I am happy, is both kind of true and kind of false. That simply won't work in the construction that we're going to be using throughout this course. We need statements to either be true or false and not both. Now, the way you can work around this for a statement like I am happy is to just be very precise in what the definition of happy is. If the definition of happy is reaching a certain threshold of happiness, like 50% happiness or above, that's what is defined as what being happy is, then it's true if you're above that threshold. And if you're not above that threshold, then it is false. So you have to be very careful with how you're defining things here because you can't have situations where uh, a, st a statement is kind of true and kind of false. It either has to be true or false and not both. Okay, so with that, let's look at some examples. I have seven examples set up here. So example one, consider the following sentence. If the St. Louis Cardinals win the World Series, then fans riot. Again, we've seen this sentence before. So how many simple sentences are here? Remember, we want to remove logical connectives and get down to just the very basics of the sentences that you may or may not be seeing on your screen currently. So think about this for a moment and pause the video if necessary. And now I will reveal the answers. So there are two simple sentences here. The first is the first half of this if then statement. The St. Louis Cardinals win the World Series. We don't see any logical connectives there, so that's a simple sentence. The second half of the if then statement, then fans riot. Well, if we remove the then part, we see fans riot. That's a simple sentence. There aren't any logical connectives there. Let's move on to the second example. And now you might be able to do this one on your own. The fans go into work or the fans cry out of depression. Again, you might want to pause the video here and think about this for a moment. How many simple sentences are in this sentence and what are they? So go ahead and pause right now and I will reveal the answer. So there are two simple sentences. You notice that in the original sentence, there is a logical connector in the or part of the statement and the or is connecting the two simple sentences together. The fans go into work and the fans cry out of depression. So we have two simple sentences there that are conjoined by the or logical connection. Okay, so going on to example three here, the fans do not riot. How many simple sentences are here and what are they? Well, if you're ready for the answer, you should be able to deduce that there's only one simple sentence here, but you have to be careful because there's a negation. The fans do not riot is not a simple sentence in itself because of that negation. You have to remove that negation to get down to the simplest part of this logical statement, which is the fans riot. So we remove these negations from simple sentences or from things that aren't simple sentences to reach simple sentences. Example four, if the St. Louis Cardinals do not win the World Series, then the fans do not go into work. How many simple sentences do we have here? Again, pause, think about this for a minute on your own and think about what those simple sentences are and if you're ready i will now reveal the answer there are two simple sentences here and note that both of the original statements in the if then statement you see above have negations so we have to remove the if then part of the original sentence and also remove the negations so that the first simple sentence is the st louis cardinals win the world series and the second simple statement is fans go in to work 
So that's example four. Example five, the San Diego Chargers are the best football team known to mankind. Again, pause the video, think about this for a moment. How many simple sentences, sentences appear here? And what are those simple sentences? Well, this is actually a bit of a trick question. It's already a simple sentence. There are no negations and there are no logical connections here. It's just a statement of fact that's actually true by any objective measure. And before anyone from Europe complains, here's a version of this slide that's safe for your side of the pond. Great. Excellent. No complaints now. Example six. If I am hungry and I do not have concern for my health, then I eat in and out. Again, pause the video here if you like. Think about how many simple sentences there are and what they are. The answer is three. First, we have in the if part of the if then statement, we have two simple sentences. One is just I am hungry. And the second has a negation here. So we have to remove that negation, which leaves us with I have concern for my health. So those are the two simple statements or simple sentences in the first half of the if then statement. And then of course, in the then part of the if then statement, we have a single simple sentence, I eat in and out. Okay, last example here. If Jim, Julia, and Jack are tired, then it is night. How many simple sentences appear here? This one is probably the trickiest of all the examples. So you might think that there are just two simple sentences, one for the if part and one for the then part. So the if part, you might think Jim, Julia, and Jack are tired is a simple sentence, and you might think that it is night is a simple sentence. Unfortunately, the if part of the statement is three simple sentences. We have Jim is tired, Julia is tired, and Jack is tired. Now, in English, it's much more efficient and much easier to just say Jim, Julia, and Jack are tired. But logically speaking, this is actually three different points. You have one person being tired, you have a second person being tired, and a third person being tired. And that's why in the if part, we have three simple sentences. And then, of course, on the then part, we have a single simple sentence, it is night. So that is the quick crash course in taking actual sentences and converting them down to their simple sentences. And what we're going to cover in the next lecture is how to then represent simple sentences using logical notation. So join me then.